Fast, accurate, and every day. First Defense Weather. Well, a happy Wednesday to you. And I wanted to mention this again because I think it's incredible when you think about it. This July is the rainiest July ever in the city of Jamestown unofficially. We won't get the official data until, you know, the end of the month, but uh, as we run 11.7 inches is the uh, current rainfall total at the Jamestown Airport, which is where all the weather uh, records are kept and taken. And it's not even close anymore when you compare it to the top six, the other top five of uh, the uh, the uh, rainiest July. So it's incredible how much rain we've had and we do have a break on the way when it's ongoing right now, but we are keeping our eyes on the Shadowcoin River water level because uh, as we've talked about all week, peak crest at 4.82 feet, likely a record crest, but uh, the latest water level down to 3.5 feet. So it is starting to recede very gradually, but we are watching it, but uh, it's still running high. So keep that in mind. Uh, if you do plan to do anything out on the Shadow Coin River, beware that the water level is still higher than uh, normal. So here we go with Future Scan. Newest run of the computer modeling shows you those clouds that we have should ultimately go away for the afternoon hours, leading to at least some partial sunshine toward the uh, end of the day. Then tonight, good snooze and weather. Mostly clear tonight, then a few clouds will start to come our way overnight. Now tomorrow should be a nice day. It'll be warmer tomorrow. That's the good news, but it will still be comfortable. So no big humidity in sight for at least the next few days. And then as we go into Friday, we will keep the good weather going, but we may see a scattered shower uh, at least uh, through the day on Friday. Now looking down the road here, this is going into the first week of August and something we've been talking about internally in the weather office is how August may end up being a complete 180 of July. My personal belief is you guys know I'm not a big fan of long range weather outlooks, but looking at the longer range data, there is some signs that that August may be warm, hot and dry. And uh, the uh, Climate Prediction Center is starting to come in, uh, is starting to come in agreement with that. This is the eight to 14 day temp outlook. And you'll see that uh, warmer air will start to surge in as we go into uh, August. And also this is the precipitation outlook over the next eight to 14 days. And again, you'll see drier than average weather is expected or at least a small chance of drier than average weather expected. So we'll have to see how this plays out as we officially go into August, but I would, but again, nothing is written in stone, but we'll have to see how it plays out. 67 to 74 today, not feeling like July at all, more like September. We had that patch, that patchy fog burned off through the afternoon, some, some peaks later in the day and a bit breezy with that northwest wind 7 to 16 miles per hour. Tonight, mainly clear and starlit. A few clouds overnight, patchy or river valley fog will develop uh, overnight. 47 in the deepest valleys. That's good snooze and weather to 56 at the Lake Erie shoreline with a calm wind. Calm wind equals fog in most cases. Tomorrow, Fresca air, it's diet summer air, 74, but a good amount of sunshine. There will be a chance for an isolated shower on Friday, but still comfortable, 76 and comfortable humidity. The weekend, Saturday, not a washout though, a couple scattered showers at times. Sunday will be our better chance for scattered showers and storms. The humidity returns as well, and, it'll, and we'll keep the humidity in play through at least early next week.